Hello, this short video is going to introduce you to your spring 2015 writing about literature online course. Um, I'm going to walk you through the different parts of the course and the expectations of the course so that you can get a good overview of what you need to do for the next 15 weeks. So when you sign into Blackboard, what you're going to see is this announcements page. This will always be the landing page of the course. Um, it's really important that you're signing in at least two to three times a week and checking these announcements. I will not be sending all announcements via email. Announcements is where you're going to find extra information um, as the course progresses about essays and stories, your grades, and sometimes even due dates. I will also be posting any extra credit possibilities in the announcements page. Now from the announcements page, the first thing that you're going to need to do, which if you're watching this video, you've already done, is click on the Start Here button. This will take you to the section of the course that will give you the overview of all the tools and expectations of the course. When you're done with the Start Here section and you're done watching this video, you'll need to go to the syllabus and schedule of readings. So as you see, pretty much everything in the course is designed to be in a folder so that when you get to one page you can kind of see everything that's on that page but then what you'll need to do is actually click on the link to that folder to get information. So in the schedule of readings and assignments what you'll notice is there is a printable version of the document and then the actual document is posted right on the screen. I highly, highly recommend that you print yourself up and save a copy of this document. If you're ever away from your computer or have problems with internet access, this is going to allow you to kind of keep working even if you don't have access. Now, if you take a look at these, at the schedule of readings and assignments, every week is laid out exactly the same. Um, there's always a section about in the textbook, then there's the My Literature Lab ex section. It tells you exactly what you need to do every week. And then Blackboard Writing Exercises. It gives you the preview of the short writing assignments that you'll have every week. Now, in the schedule of reading assignments, I do not have a list of every single thing listed in the course content section. And I'm going to explain that in just a second. But these are the actual written and graded sections of the course that are necessary for your final grade. So let's move on to course content. When you go to the course content page, <clears throat> what you're going to see is that the top of the page has basic information for the course. Any handouts and information that I post in the weekly folders are also posted here in this upfront folder called course handouts and information. So when you go into this folder, what you're going to see right away is there's assignment instructions for all essays. You don't have to remember which week I gave you those instructions. It's right here. The other thing that you'll want to pay attention to is that there's a separate folder for all um, grading information. So this tells you exactly what's required for a CSA based on the Maryland State Standards. I give you an MLA formatting template, talks about paragraphs, and anatomy of an essay. This is all covered in weeks one through three, but the information is here as well. So if we go back to the course content, what you're going to notice, and I'm going to turn it to the student view, is that the top of the page, like I said, is the kind of stable content. When you submit your essays, you're going to submit them to this folder here, and I'll talk about that in a different video. There's also a link for the Pearson My Lab and Mastering Course Home. This is the other online component that you'll need to purchase, and we'll talk about that in a bit. Now, as you'll notice, every week has a folder. Your responsibility is that on Monday, we start the week. You complete all of the activities and written assignments assigned for that week by the following Sunday at midnight. You have to move week by week through the course. I don't accept any work after the week is over but the folders will always be available for you to go back and review. So if we take a look at week one, what you're going to notice is that it's very, very full. Um, by the time you get to the end of the course, there won't be quite so much in each folder, but what I've done is given you much more information about how the course works to guide you through the activities for the first couple weeks, and then once you get the hang of it, I've backed off on all of that. 
So, <clears throat> so at the top of each folder, you're going to find an Ask the Professor board. This board is designed for you to ask questions about the course, the materials, the assignments. Please do not post any personal questions to the board. You should email me those directly. After the Ask the Professor, I always have an overview that gives you kind of a starting point for where we're going to be in each course. Um, as I said, week ones is a bit longer because I'm really introducing you to the class itself. After the overview, there are going to be a variety of lectures and notes and videos um, and other links for you to get information about the course. As this one particularly says, you're going to do a combination of reading the textbook, participating in a class discussion, watching or listening to videos about the subjects we're studying, completing interactive quizzes and homework activities, and writing short responses every week. And if you scroll down through the weeks, the best way to do this is to actually just follow the order that I've put things into. Um, in week one, I walk you exactly through and tell you how each week works. So if you ever get confused, all you have to do is come back to week one. Now every week has a discussion. You'll have to post the discussions by Wednesday, and I will post a separate video on how to do that. Um, by Sunday, you need to respond to two of your classmates. This is the interactive portion of the course so that you can get to know each other and not feel quite so alone on this online course. Our course also has a required interactive content. We're going to be using My Literature Labs, which works with our textbook, to give you more um, kind of multimedia information as well as um, online activities, um, short writing assignments, kind of short answer things, and quizzes to help you make sure that you're mastering the content. Every week we'll have a link to that particular website. And again, I'll be posting a separate video for how to use that website. Um, in addition to those things, every week we'll have short writing assignments. You'll either have an essay due, or you'll have these little paragraph assignments that help you write the essays. And as you see here, the paragraph, the, the short writing prompts always come at the end of the week. So if you go all the way through the week, you'll get to the very end, which will tell you to move on to week two. Again, you need to move through the class week by week with the class. You can always go back to review, but I never accept work after the class is finished. Now, in addition to the course content, there is also a discussion board. If you want to jump straight to our class discussions, you can go to this discussion board, find the week, and post your discussion for the week. If you ever need to find me, there is um, contact information posted. And then finally, on the quick links, this is where you can view your course grades at any time. You can send an email to the course, and there's all the course tool information there. So that is your brief overview for how the um, Blackboard course for this site works. There will be additional videos to show you specifically how the discussion boards work, and more importantly, how the Pearson My Literature Lab works. If you have any questions, be sure to post them.